everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Amy. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to be discussing Change of Plans by Cindy Rass. The first few minutes, we're going to do a brief review of this story without any spoilers. Then we are going to shift into that deeper book discussion. It's going to include lots of spoilers, but don't worry. We're going to let you know before we do shift into that deeper book discussion. Right. So before we dive in, Amy, tell us what Change of Plans is all about. A delightful office boss employee rom-com about a quirky, introverted young woman who lands a job in her new town at an up-and-coming successful creative business. She doesn't count on her new boss bringing her a sense of comfort and a family that adores her. This story has humor, banter, and a swoon-worthy hero. Sarah, what did you think about Change of Plans? Okay, so this story immediately, if you love Lorelai Gilmore and her sarcasm and her wit and humor, Ember kind of embodies just a little bit of that. (laughs) There's so much humor throughout her internal dialogue, Colton's internal dialogue, the way that they communicate their banter together was so just delicious. The humor in this is throughout. I was laughing, I was chuckling. The story really makes my insights feel ooey-gooey. Ooh, yes. After Mm -hmm. we've had... (laughs) some angsty, more, um, more like heavier heavier books. This was the perfect little rom-com that we needed. It's very, very sweet. It just, the only way to palate cleanser, it's a palate cleanser and it just makes you feel ooey gooey inside. It's super cute. (laughs) It's delightfully funny. It's witty. I loved the banter, Mm -hmm. love the banter so much and the humor and the swoon worthy moments of this hero. Mm. Let me just tell you, it's so good. All right, let's get into our ratings. Angst. This was just a one. And and, and that might even be a little bit high. I did five. Yeah. See, I kind of felt like it could go lower, but there's there's some elements that just... It was lighthearted and Mm -hmm. fun, super easygoing. Angst is very low in this story. Humor. I rated it a three because I laughed throughout the whole thing. The beginning half is very, (laughs) very funny and... uh, and then it kind of tapers off a little towards the end, it not does. quite as much. But yeah, it just made me laugh a I lot. did three and a half. And I teetered about bumping it to 3.75, uh-huh. but I ultimately went with three and a half. The inner dialogue of both of these characters oh. is so funny and so full of wit. And I loved it. I found myself really relating to the female main character so much in her inner dialogue. Mm-hmm. It's very entertaining. It is very entertaining. Spiciness. See, I feel okay, like... We're, <laughs> uh, where'd you land, Sarah? <laughs> I put it at 0.25. Me too. Okay, I didn't even <laughs> feel like it. I There's kissing and there's um, some like... Flirt. Flirt. There's flirting. A little bit of banter with I, tension. That's the extent. I'm not even going to use the word tension. I don't feel like there's... There's a little bit. Like in the hot tub scene, there's a hot tub scene. There was some... Yeah, you'd think that that would lead somewhere. It doesn't. Not on page. (laughs) Spoiler alert. Um, But no, there's no spice. There's no spice. It's a very clean story. It's a very clean. If you need one that has little to no spice, this is the one for you. All right, tears. Uh, 0.5. Okay. I did zero. I wasn't sad at all. Zero tears. I felt sad for, like, some things for that character, just like, oh, that's sad. But I didn't cry. You're not going to cry. You're not going to cry. And mm-hmm. I didn't even have that like, hmm, I feel sad for you. You I didn't should've. feel bad. I should have. I mean, but I got to say, it didn't really cross my mind in that way. Her parents are like the Gilmores. That's true. They're, <laughs> they're like, they're horrible people. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's that heart of stone, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Coming out a little bit in this. All right, moving on. Overall. Over- <laughs> Overall, it was a 4.25 for me. It was very sweet. It was lighthearted. It made me laugh. If you can make me laugh, I'm I'm sold. I gave it a four and a half. What a delight this story was. It was entertaining. It was a breath of fresh air, like yeah. you mentioned, after some of the heavier reads that we have gone through. So I loved the humor, as we've already mentioned. And the introverted part of myself really related to this female main character mm-hmm. a lot. She is so funny. And the male main character is just so swoon-worthy. He, yes, he has a <laughs> moment where... Where I just he sets the bar that I don't think I don't think any male can achieve. I think that's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that concludes the spoiler-free uh, review of this story. If you would like to continue on with us with a deeper discussion, simply click that link below or open any podcast platform and search Post Book Depression. We would love to connect with you on social media. You can find us on Instagram at Post Book Depression Podcast, on Facebook in our Post Book Depression discussion group. You can also email us at Post Book Depression Podcast at gmail.com. Com.